Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the month of July of 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Let's see what July has in store for the amazing Scorpio Collective. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like July could be a month where there's something that you're currently doing right now that you're like, you know what, I'm just trying my best. I'm doing what I can. But I feel like July, you're really going to feel more secure in this, you know, whether this is a work related thing or a business related thing. It's like you're really going to feel good about it. It's not just going to be something that you're trying to achieve, like you're going to achieve that confidence, that feeling of security. Um, Kind of like, you know, how we hear the saying, fake it till you make it. Maybe some of you have been going through this process where you're like, I'm just going to fake it till I make it because I don't really feel that way right now. I feel like in July, you're not going to have to fake it. You know, it's like you're just going to be doing it. You're going to be good at it. You're going to feel good at it or good about it. Uh, for some of you, this could even be, um, you know, like if it's not career related, then maybe it's, you know, on the way to career. So maybe you're preparing yourself for particular type of field maybe you're going to school right it's kind of like during our learning process we may not really know how much we actually are capable of doing something uh, but once we start doing it then we get a better sense of our abilities I just feel like July is going to be a good month because you're not going to have to fake anything you're just going to be good at it um we have the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. For some of you, this could be relationship related, right? So it's kind of like you are trying your best to stay grounded, stay focused on a situation, and you're hoping that things improve. But I feel like, again, July, you're going to start to see that it is real. You know, things are official, or at least they're getting there. Right behind the Nine of Pentacles is the Strength card, which is Leo, and then it is the Devil, which is Capricorn. So I kind of feel like for some of you, maybe this is about um, something where you've had to kind of get out of your comfort zone. And while you've been out of your comfort zone, you've been trying your best. I feel like your new comfort zone is where you were before very uncomfortable. So I'm not explaining things the best right now but hopefully that makes sense your new comfort zone is where you were once uncomfortable and that is huge scorpio i mean on all levels no matter how this resonates with you i feel like that is the theme for july so we have the six of swords the four of wands the three of pentacles and the two of pentacles i feel like with the two of pentacles you're going to make a decision based off of your confidence and not just wishful thinking right you're making a decision that you are secure about that you're comfortable with um, it feels like an official decision as well. So I feel like for a lot of you, you haven't made this choice until you felt more comfortable and more confident. So I feel like now you're finally going to do that. And I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, maybe this is related to work. Uh, maybe this is related to some sort of team uh, or partnership. Kind of like there are other people involved. And so even more pressure to make sure that you know um, how you really feel about this, what it is that you really want to do. I kind of feel like with the Four of Wands, this is confirmation about some sort of success. Um, confirmation that you are going to feel more, more certain about what it is that you're doing. And with the Six of Swords, I feel like maybe you're moving forward in a specific direction. And this month, you start to see exactly you know, where it is that you're headed. I feel like there's a lot of clarification needed here. So we're just going to go one by one. Let's go ahead and clarify the Two of Pentacles. Judgment. Yeah, I feel like you couldn't make this decision before. It just wasn't possible because you needed to have some sort of clarity or confirmation from something or someone else, right? I feel like your judgment was purely always going to be based off of how you felt. And I feel like for you, Scorpio, seeing your energy come through right behind the judgment, you were not feeling, um, you know, capable of making some sort of decision without this certainty. And I feel like Scorpios don't make decisions until they are at least as close to certain as possible. 
Because I feel like right now you could be going through a situation where it's like if you make a decision and you're not sure about it, you can almost feel that it's not going to work, right? So I feel like your intuition plays a really big part in how you decide to move through certain situations. And while others may see that as you being indecisive, you're simply just giving yourself more time to feel secure and, and sure about something. So it's a very internal process. We have the High Priestess, which is Pisces, the Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. So right here, I feel like this is the ultimate confirmation that you're going to have some sort of huge, huge clarity breakthrough in July because your intuition is going to feel more concrete about something. And then therefore, you have this ability to say, okay, I think I can do this. I'm good with that. You know, it's like Seven of Cups. You're starting to really make these decisions. Um, and I kind of feel like everything is going to kind of feed off of another. So one decision will influence another decision and like that. And I feel like I have to speak in general terms because this is, you know, kind of like a prediction reading for the entire month. So just imagine this on smaller scales. I just feel like in general, July is going to be a month where you are just so much more confident and sure about something that everything that you do from that perspective and from that energy is just going to feel better it's just going to feel more authentic more genuine again you're not faking it anymore you're simply just doing it and i feel like with the high priestess maybe some of you have pisces placements pisces moon pisces rising maybe you've felt for the longest time that you don't really it's, it's almost like you were going through the situation and you were like i don't really know how i feel um i don't know why i don't know how i feel right sometimes we don't understand our own emotions if we are confused or unsure but i feel like the universe wants to remind you that there may be a reason why you didn't have the answers until now maybe there was something you had to go through independently aside from the situation within yourself in order to then you know kind of see this from a different perspective i feel like i'm getting lost in the sauce so let's go ahead and clarify the three of pentacles For some of you, this feels work or career related. Um, and then for others of you, it could be relationship. But it just kind of feels like overall. It's kind of like this is something that is happening at every, you know, like level in your life where you've kind of been trying to understand what it is exactly that you want, what you think is missing. Like maybe for some of you, your lack of clarity in your relationships then affects your decisions that you make you know, for yourself within work or, you know, other things in your life and then vice versa. Like maybe when things at work are a little bit rocky, you start to feel a little bit differently in your relationships. It's like everything is connected, right? So I kind of feel like July is where all these parts start to feel a little bit more concrete. It's like they connect a little bit better. There's a flow. Um, you know, there isn't that uncertainty. So we have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this kind of speaks to the fact that maybe there's actually some sort of, um, I don't know why the word alliance came through, but alliance is the word that I got. Maybe there's a a connection. Some sort of teamwork or network that you're a part of is starting to really form or get strong this month. And it makes you feel better also about something that you do. Um, kind of like you're not alone, right? You feel less alone because of this camaraderie, this union, this partnership. We have the Five of Cups, the Lovers, which is Gemini, and the Queen of Wands. Because I feel like for a long time, Scorpio, you've been doing something through your own devices, you know, by yourself, on your own. Um, and I feel like this month you start to realize or, or see you're not alone in this. You know, you have support. There is, you know, someone else that can help you, that can provide resources. And so overall, you're feeling like, okay, I, I don't have to do, I don't have to do this on my own. Um, so with the lover's card, maybe there's a partnership, you know, there's something there that really is growing strong, stronger this month. And so it relieves you of some sort of stress or tension, because I feel like with the five of cups, a lot of you have been dealing with something on your own for a long time. Um, and you yourself could even be saying, you know what, as much as I have this tendency to want to deal with things on my own, I don't want to do that anymore. Some of you are actually asking for help. 
Um, and for some of you, this could be very specific. You know, maybe you're asking, you know, someone that you're very close to for help. This is Queen of Wands is a divine feminine energy. Maybe you're seeking help from, you know, a friend, a mother, a sister, just someone in your life that you feel like you can trust. I feel like you're saying, I don't want to do this alone. I don't want to, you know, keep fighting this by myself. So some of you could be asking for, you know, maybe you're seeking therapy or you're seeking some sort of guidance to help with that emotional component. And I feel like that's going to be a huge, a huge deal breaker in the best way, right? Like this is where you really start to see the progress. So for a lot of you, Scorpio, this month is about, um, you know, it's almost like the reason why you feel more confident, the reason why things feel less uncertain and you're getting all this clarity is because you're taking the steps to get there. You know, you're not just expecting for the truth or for the healing or for all these things to come you know, or fall out from the sky, you're actively seeking them, you're actively a part of this process. And that effort is not going to go unnoticed, right? So let's go ahead and clarify the four of wands. And we have justice, which is zebra. And again, I feel like this is, you know, that karmic justice, you're receiving something here. Um, some sort of result, you know, you're starting to see that things are actually moving forward. And for some of you, the just the justice could represent that there's a balance where there was once an imbalance, right? So maybe this four of wands is speaking to the even numbers, right? It's like four of wands, there's two and two, um, the sun is right on top of it, something just makes sense, something is stable. Um, you finally you finally got there. I feel like with justice, maybe this is also about you receiving um, reciprocation where there was a lack of reciprocation, right? Some sort of imbalance, right? Behind the justice is the six of pentacles, which is equal give and take. So again, on all areas, it feels like you're finally starting to get that, that support. You know, it feels like support on every level. We have the queen of pentacles, the emperor, which is Aries, and the knight of wands. The, the support that you're getting what, what's amazing about it, if I could formulate my sentences, Scorpio, is that it allows you to now make these decisions. You know, it's because you have this solid foundation that you're able to now do a lot of things. So with that Knight of Wands, this is that motivation to get going, right? This is you saying, I have what I need now so I can do this. I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor, this is that divine feminine, stable, grounded energy and this divine, masculine, passionate, strong you know, leadership energy. So for a lot of you, something is is really making it so that you can have both of these elements within yourself, right? I feel like this is your Martian energy, right? Because Aries is ruled by Mars, so is um, Scorpio, right? This is that side of you coming out. And then the Queen of Pentacles is you being able to now prioritize and focus on your stability, on your happiness, on your finances, because something in your environment is empowering you and motivating you to do so. So this is about your alignment. You know, July, I feel like, is a month for alignment. All right, Scorpio, let's clarify the Six of Swords. Wow. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Again, it's almost like three, 360 here, because we started with the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck at the beginning. Now we're ending with that same Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like this is confirmation that everything is connected. We have the Ten of Cups the Page of Wands, and the Two of Cups to further clarify the Six of Swords. So I kind of feel like the, you know, as we are entering July, you could be experiencing a very different energy compared to how the year started. And I feel like this energy is only going to keep transforming till the year ends because something that you're discovering right now is what is going to make that possible. I feel like with the Page of Wands, you're very open, you're very receptive. Something in your life has changed in the recent past, and that could be the seed that really sprouts all of these other things. I feel like with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, this is also confirmation that something about your relationships is affecting everything else, and something about everything else is affecting your relationships. But because this is your month of alignment, it's all happening on a positive scale, right? Things are really moving upwards. Um, and I feel like this is the beautiful, like, mirror of that. You know, there's there's something parallel going on here about the energies on all, you know, on all aspects. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.